I mean, so you're talking about professional goals, and I would think, obviously, you had a hell of a lot of accomplishments on your particular journey. And I'm not to say that you are at the tipping point to where now you're on that upward climb, but where do you see what you're doing right now 20 years from now? 20 years from now, wow. So, I mean, probably two or three things. Like, I like solving problems, so macro level. That might be probably, this is where I think I'm going to go, like more investing in businesses and advising them to get from one stage to the next. I think... If you're an entrepreneur and you've gone through a journey, you almost have a duty to give some people that you want to work with or you're working with. I don't say the cheat codes, but that seems to be a phrase I'm using a lot. But some of the, like the cheat codes to, to kind of skip a level. I always think of it like a video game, basically, like you're trying to complete a video game. If you want to go from A to B, what are those cheat codes that you can do to help you through that system, help you through that process? Not to cheat, but to basically, like I said, this is going back to one of my themes, like get to the outcome in the fastest and easiest way possible, because why, why do it in the way that's longest and hardest? You, don't, you shouldn't need to do that. Like there are ways to get around these things. There are experiences people can share to help you do things faster or better or quicker, whatever it might be. So like, I'd love to still be doing that in 20 years time, you know, whether that's for something that I'm working on or whether that's me working with others, like really unlocking like just success for people, to be honest. Um, and that could, like I said, that could be professional, that could be personal. I'd love to see where technology goes in 20 years. I mean, that's impossible to predict, right? I mean, who knows like where that stuff lands, whether that's like software, hardware, anything. I think the pace of change that we've seen for the last 20, 30 years, it's, it'd be interesting to see like what the pace of change is going forward. Cause I think there's only so many new iPhones that can come out and stuff like that, but like, you know, quantum computing or how, you know, technology can be used in healthcare and stuff like that. There's just so much exciting stuff to come, and I'm like an eternal optimist. So, um, yeah, all that kind of stuff, you know, throwing all that into the mix, working in tech, but solving, you know, using technology to solve problems is just a phenomenal like industry to work in, I think. And so, hopefully, I'll still be doing that in 20 years. Maybe a little bit of relaxation as well every now and again. <laughs>